Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will show you a full in-depth overview of the most customizable ROM I tested out so far. I'm talking about Minotaurus ROM for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. This ROM has so many features that I actually lost myself at some point in the ROM control app. I will get through most of them in this video and I will show you some unique ones which I haven't really tested out until now. Here is some information about Minotaurus ROM taken from its official forum which is listed also in the description. The ROM is rebased on latest QGB firmware from Samsung. Added some new bloating options in the ROM app, of course some new features in ROM control app, updated TWRP to latest released and many more you will see during this review. As I always do on full overviews, I'll make this one in a wicked manner. You don't know what a wicked manner is? Well, let's check it out. I'll show you what is this ROM all about, how fast and stable it feels and of course the usual antidote to benchmark and gaming test. Without further ado, let's get wicked. In order to install this ROM you'll need TWRP recovery. If you don't know what TWRP recovery is or how to install it, check the video in the car section. If you want to back up your current configuration, check the video in the car section how to do it. We'll go into install section and choose my notorious ROM. Swipe to install and the ROM installer will pop up. Here I recommend you to select full wipe, then choose your desired country CSC. You can select a custom my notorious boot animation and then some mods and fixes. And here comes the debloater menu when you'll want to tick which apps you don't want to be installed on your device. Choose your preferred kernel and uh, the routing method you will need to choose in order for all the mods to work perfectly is Chainfire Super SU. During the installation process the phone will auto reboot and start the booting process which by the way will take up to 7 minutes so enjoy the boot animation. I successfully booted up the ROM, played with it for a couple of minutes and I have to tell you the first customizable app that literally hit my eyes was the Samsung official launcher which was actually a mod with a lot of features. I will go through some of them in order for you you to see what I'm talking about. With this one you can enable the launcher rotation which looks absolutely fine if you ask me. Then you can set up different screen transition modes with bunch of adjustable settings. Then you can set up a blur effect in the drawer if you want it and maybe the most interesting feature gestures. I use Nova Launcher all the time and since I can't uh, really access the notification bar with one hand, I use this swipe down gesture to do it. Well, with this mod you can set this gesture on your default Samsung Launcher if you like it better than anything else. Also in the home screen settings there are other home screen grid sizes like 6x6, 5x5 etc which will let you place more apps on the screen and there is also the ability to access the settings menu of this mod from here. Pretty neat mod which I have to say I have never seen in other ROMs that I've tested so far. Really nice touch. Now into the Minotaurus ROM control app which you can download from a Google store. It's paid but it's certainly worth the money. Here you have tons of features, most of them we've already seen on Batman ROM on Renovate Eyes. Most of them are really unique like the ability to set up an image to the status bar itself, set up different um, clock widgets in a lock screen. Of course I won't get into all of the features but here are some important ones. It comes with 3 minute battery mode and 3 minute clock which are really customizable. Then you have the ability to set up a battery bar and some other little things related to the clock like setting an app to be opened while pressing the clock in the status bar. Some of the modifications will require a system user interface reboot. You can uh, set up different colors for every specific icon in the status bar, set the Wi-Fi signal and mobile data to left, change the Wi-Fi mobile alarm icon, set up different virtual buttons and also show or hide network traffic and so on and so forth. Two fresh updated features are the ability to double tap status bar to sleep and uh, quick access notification bar from right side which work just fine. That was just with the status bar, you can also change all the the colors in the status bar, notifications, text, icons, mostly everything. The feature which I like the most is again the beautiful birdie animation in the notification bar. This ROM comes with even more features in the call user interface, the lock screen and another unique touch I found was the ability to set up a different clock lock screen widget that was really cool. Remapping Bixby button was never been easier. I directly integrated into the ROM control app I set it to take a screenshot after I press it. In the advanced features you can see the installed audio modules which work just fine. Beats Audio, Viper for Android FX and Dolby Atmos will give you an enormous improvement in sound quality. Anyways if you want to see the full in-depth video of this ROM's control app 
visit the video in the car section because I couldn't cover all of it in this video and there are some features that really need to be observed in detail. This is a really impressive ROM when it comes to customization options. Now into the benchmark desk, take in mind that the kernel I chose in a ROM was notorious and um, bear in mind it comes underclocked. So the score I got was pretty low. Also you shouldn't take uh, benchmarks in serious, they can be easily hacked. The most important fact is how the phone feels and behaves. And this Minotaurus ROM does a great job. I think that if I went for Besta kernel in Aroma, the score would have been totally different also due to the underclocking of CPU, which by the way you can cancel in Mflix app, I could see some lag during my gaming test where I ran it for speed no limits. You may want to try the best of kernel if you are not satisfied with Notorious and see how it goes for you. Along with all the customization options, some minor bugs may appear, but I am sure they will be fixed in next releases. The overall wicked score this ROM will get from me is a whopping 4.7 out of 5. There are still some things to be done, but this ROM is somehow close to perfection. Anyways, if you like my video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe around my channel. Don't forget to check out the Minotaurus ROM control app video in the car section and until next time as always take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.